Jordan Wara hits Sutton back door for the stuff. That's the play that we saw them run today. How will Kent State handle this Louisville defense? Here's Avery for three. That's one of the things that they do really well. Had more field goal attempts in the game, in part because of the turnovers. As the flashes give it away, and Juan Ford gets it two. For the Richmond transfer to Cunningham, the Samford transfer. Chance for a three-point play. See right here. Wanted to get the ball inside of Enoch, not having it, absorbing that contact, great ability to finish. Whittington makes the catch to the corner, and that's good. Louisville has six points in the paint so far. Wide open in the corner. Wara got it. Great recognition by Sutton. Wara has already surpassed his totals from a year ago in points, rebounds, blocks, seemingly every category. Jalen Walker shows what he can do off the bounce. Talk about putting someone in the, in the blender right there. You see the nice little step back, being able to create some separation. I think it's really important. So the last time, Kent State doing a good job of being able to stop Louisville from being able to penetrate. Avery for three, knocks in another. Comer and Jeb Hartman's the three officials today. Williams for three. Under 12 to play in the first half. Cardinals by one. McMahon lays it off. And a chance for three. Williams off the bench. Already has three-point plays in two different ways. Nice pass from McMahon to Sutton inside. Nice pass by Ryan McMahon. One of the things, too, if you watch Ryan McMahon play, you think that he's just a good shooter. I love his presence and being able to recognize, you see, last time, that nice shot by uh, Whittington. Loss was a, a home setback against Liberty. Liberty team coached by Richie McKay. That's sitting at 8-2. Here's Whittington. Nice move with the righty finger roll. A better program, and who wouldn't want to play in the ACC, one of the top uh, conferences in the country? Great point. From the elbow, it's Enoch. Wild cross-court pass, four saves it. Now Cunningham saves it, looks at the clock, takes the three, puts it in! Makes some tough shots, you can see that. Walker narrowly avoids the turnover, and Roberts spots up and answers the freshman from Detroit with just his fourth three of the season. Shot clock's at seven. Inside, Whittington spins baseline. Nice move. How about that move from Whittington? We talked earlier when he was in the game. Not afraid, asking for the ball, yelling over his teammates. Whittington, six points, three of five from the floor. Laura from the corner. And State comes down, and you're able to match that with knocking down a three. Yeah. How clutch has he been for this team so far this year? Roberts. First half on the road at an ACC foe, knocked in a couple from the outside, and then there's Jordan Wara. <laughs> Says, this is my house. So far this year, he just missed another front end. Perry off the dribble to the basket. Good job of being able to recognize that he's a three-point shooter and force him to put the ball on the floor. Cunningham sets up Williams. He'll take it and make it. The three and war at the four. Those guys can basically switch out and puts a lot of pressure on the guards from Kent State. As you see, Cunningham being able to go in for an uncontested shot. Kristen Cunningham, the first double figure scorer in the game today. Avery on the drive, able to answer with five. Kristen Cunningham from the foul line puts it in. Kristen Cunningham filling it in, going into the half. A little crossover to be able to get the separation to put the Cardinal up by 17. Chris Mack hoping that continues. He was always known for his rebounding teams at Xavier. One four in rhythm for two. Team to five run, won the game. Only turned it over eight times last weekend. No one picking up sudden as he can came down. A team that defends and rebounds and competes every night. And I think that as long as you're doing that, you're going to put yourself in position. You see Walker being able to come up with a nice basket and then in four. Cardinals are going to hope that the defensive energy can keep them in games. And then you get some.
Five minutes gone in the second half. That has been all Cardinals until that three from Walker. And who's the foul on underneath? 18 and 8 approximately per game for Jordan Wara. Walker, same spot, same result. And Rob Senderoff takes a timeout. There's a turnover. Chris Mack is dialed up in the timeout for sure. Looking inside, Whittington catch and finish. A, a moment to, be, to get comfortable with the system and then find out what your niche is there. I think that he's definitely found this. It's a great penetration finished by Frederick. Trailed by as many as 24. Back within 15. Perry. Got it. Darius Perry from downtown. Cardinals are shooting 58% for the game. That's a high percentage shot from Enoch. Enoch on the penetration, being able to catch that ball for the flush. Just the second basket for Enoch. He's got four points. Walker sidestep, knocks it in. Six teams in the country to be perfect on the road in at least three games so far this year. Sutton for three, puts it in. A bullseye for Dwayne Sutton. Shot by Sutton. One of those things we talk about. If he knocks that down on a consistent basis, definitely gives them another guy they can step up for. You see Frederick knocking down on the three to answer that. 63-47. Four to the basket. Nice move. Gets the roll. Yeah, to that point, Brian, today similar to the Seton Hall game. In terms of a lot of guys scoring points. Wara on the stick back right on cue. Sutton with 12. Cunningham, the leader, with 15. The lead is 20. And Avery's rejected by Enoch. Williamson gives it to Walker. Hard drive for two. Nice finish by Walker. That time realizing he can get to the cup. Williamson motors the other way. Walker puts mm. it in again. Paul Walker passed up on the first jump shot. Walker could use some help. He has scored 16 of the Golden Flashes, 24 points here in the second half. And there's an answer for Sutton. By the way, going to Syracuse pretty soon. Another tough home game for the Orange. Walker, he's on fire, folks. They, they run a lot of pick and roll. He's that asset that allows you to be able to have a guy that can shoot the three. Jalen oh, Walker, you, stop! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cunningham to McMahon, looking for points. He's got him. Kennedy. Emerges with a loose ball, dishes ahead, four throws it high, and the tip in for Wara. Not the thunder that most were expecting, but it counts the same. And even Quan Four, I thought that he did a good job in the first half of being able to limit the, the guards from Kent State. It's a small thing. It's nothing major, but it's just something I don't feel like I've seen before. Well, I think when you look at some of these coaches and you talk about uh, being good teachers. Set maybe giving the guys a little break for the holiday. But they'll have time to really kind of refocus for the most important part of the season, ACC play. A narrow loss to Marquette and then obviously Tennessee. They're not going to make him inbound the ball.